write the else portion of the program that will change the lights to red for the negative clockwise spin direction. Go to Lights and Sounds and add a main LED block into the then condition. Now go to Operators and drag the Color Mixer block into the main LED block. Set the color to red. You also need to drag the main LED sensor and embed it into the Color Mixer block. Next, drag the Basic Operator block and drop it in the channel of the Color Mixer block and change it to Divide. Now drag the Advanced Operator block into the field left of the Divide operator and change it to Absolute Value. Absolute Value removes the negative sign from a number which you need in this case because the clockwise yaw spin rate is measured in negative numbers, a range of negative 2,000 to 0. LED colors can only be measured on a positive 0 to 255 scale, so you need the absolute value to remove the negative sign, otherwise the normalization to the color channel scale will give you a value below the 0 to 255 range, and it won't work. Now, drag the gyroscope sensor into the left of the Divide Operator block and select Yaw. Finally, set the divisor to 7.84, just like you did for the IF statement. That's it! You're all done! Run the program and notice that now you see the green color on the main LEDs when you spin Sphero counterclockwise and red for clockwise. Go to the next step to learn more about the gyroscope sensor data that is reported back from the robot.